Gonna run again here with Pollard. Nice. Good ball. Where the Cowboys and we're running down their throat. They can't stop us, bro. They cannot stop us. Yesterday, this exactly what they want to do on the opening drive: establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly: it's a big man's on, game, bro. and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about there, playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We still got four yards on the play. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and getting their guy in the back. Do you like the Cowboys? Yeah, good. Me too. I love the Cowboys. They'll run left with Pollard. Yeah, we scored! <laughs> Give me a high five! Yeah, we scored a touchdown! Yeah, alright, help me kick it. Yeah, he did. Look, look, look. It'll show the replay. Look, me and Bo both running. Look at that. Tony Pollard. Oh. Alright, we gotta kick a field goal here. You gotta be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's gonna be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity to open it, you take full advantage. Right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. Seven seven here as the kicks away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Nice, Bo. Inside the 20, good coverage as he's dropped it. I see you, Bo. I see Yeah. Yeah, we tied up the game with that one. All right. Yeah, Chargers yeah. drive about All right, to we got to play some defense. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. How Charles, remember, they had the short field. Nice. They took it in the end zone. Nice. To be a longer, more sustained yep. Bo's, right, Bo's coaching right now. Picking the plays and playing. Yeah. Wow, that's all we play with, the Cowboys. Yeah, I need to buy some black things. It's because the sun's over there like most of the day. That comes to. 7-7, our score after one. Oh, man. This man, 24. Where's your hand? What are you doing? Yeah. Boy's playing. Boy's playing. Tony Pollard, about a 38-yard run. Second and 11 now. This is online right here. We're playing against... Whoever this dude is is a loser. Now Herbert with you can hear me, to too. Get him. Nice, nice. I'll tell you who's going to be good this year, man. That that number 33, Clark. This is second year, man. He, he's solid, man. He's solid. I'll be right out. No, no. Come on, we got to play some defense. What is this? I can't do nothing on third down. Here's Herbert. Yeah, come on! What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, Malik Hooker. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out. Okay. Where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively. Not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Nice, boy. Tony Pollard is a dog. He's a dog. He has been terrific in this first half. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, 
really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. First down, and it's Pollard again. And some strong running there as he's down just shy. He can't hold him. He can't hold him. Back-to-back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Pollard again. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. It's now third down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Throwing. Prescott. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. Gonna hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And this one is right down Broadway. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So Charles will get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position. Herbert has it knocked free. Somebody get that ball. No, my God. My God. No. You lucky mofo, young baby. That means you got to run out there and try and stop. Come on, how does that happen? Somebody get home. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Yeah, good D, Clark. And this drive is almost over before it began. Thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Come on. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's mine. Come on. Yeah! I don't care if that was a hard tackle. Screw you. And he is going to get this one back to the 20 yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got it pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 
107 yards on the ground for him so far. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, he is putting in a great all-around game, Charles. He already ran one in for a score, and now they utilize him in the passing game. And they put a lot of pressure on a defensive coordinator and defense, don't they? Because they're used to him as a runner. But it turns out he's just as dangerous as some of those receivers, and he showed it right there. You don't pay enough attention to him defensively, he makes you play. Extra points makes the uprights, and his guys will take a 10 point lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's got another one to Johnston. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Herbert on first down now. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's second and 10. Herbert back to the air. And he's got it. Touchdown, no. Chargers. Gerald Everett as the first half is winding down. How could this be? Chargers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are gonna take over at their own 41. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there, you throw the interception, not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, it might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air. On Herbert, his third interception. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break.
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Now Dak, he's going to mix it up. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. A give to Pollard, running left. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. At the 36-yard line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll try to throw down. Prescott. Got it open there. It's Michael Gallup. They wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Trying to run for it with Pollard. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 125 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Pollard. Going to try the right side. Joey Bosa in on the stop. No doubt about it. A really nice job there. <laughs> not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defense... He won't an ice cream sandwich. That you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. My little nice Bo. My Bobo. -bo. And not giving ground. Second and nine from the 44. Bo Bobo. -bo. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Well, you certainly have to give what? them credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, feeling all right? taking their time and making it work. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. On the draw, it's Pollard. He can't get him down. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times, that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. They'll run for it with Pollard. Yeah! Get stiffed on, boy! I threw you in the ground, boy! Get off me! I'm fourth and two, Tony Pollard. 
Hey, that's a late hit. I see you, Derwin James. I see you, boy. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down. Hello. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. They work now on second and nine. Pollard gets it off the option. Fights forward at the 20. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Chargers, 14. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Looking to throw, Prescott. Being oh no, he lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16 yard line. Well, Parker, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. From the 24 now, here's second and two. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw here, Herbert. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showed off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 here's Herbert oh, and that is incomplete as his old brain remembers I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender I know the ball's coming out high they expected it and got there and popped it free. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. 
Nothing there for him. Second down. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. From the 50, here's Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 33. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Running on first down, Eckler. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here's a second and seven. Herbert. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Cowboys have just about sewn up this football game. You like that? Winning plays. You like that? Winning play at this stage of the game. You like that? For that interception, huge. I like how you identified that. You like that? People think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball. I want AFK to get my son out the car. Finish things off. To get my son out the car. Drive on the Cowboys offense. You poop. To get my son out of the car. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Poop ass. Man. He's gonna get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect. Look at him break that outside. You're lucky. Use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds from adding in the fourth. You don't lose every last one of them timeouts. You hear me? You hear me, young people, Stacks? That's for playing whenever I was trying to get my son out of the car. You could have paused the game. You knew I was AFK. They Should run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short yeah. of what he needed. That's fine. I believe in my defense. Final timeout. I believe in my defense. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Davis now to return it. And he takes us beyond the 30 Hell no. before Hell no. out of bounds. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Come on, come on. This is first and ten. Come on. Come on. Come now on. Herbert. Yeah. He takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Yes, I promise I'm about to help you, man. Yeah, I got 30 seconds left in this game. Hey, y'all come in here. Come here, Bentley. Come here. Bentley, come play football in here. Come on. Okay, we'll play both. Shut the door. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go play in a minute. We can play football and basketball. Yeah, that's that, that's my bear. That's me and Bentley's bear. That's mine. Get that ball out of here, boy. You're trash. You're trash, Cam. You're what? You're what? Where's Groot? Groot's over there. That's game, baby boy. That's game, baby boy. Where are you going? No, where are you going? 
You let me know that game out. Y'all ready to go play in the in the garage? Yes. All right, wait for me. Don't go without me yet. 